The sorting of votes by national delegates has commenced at the presidential primary election of the All Progressives Congress, APC. So far in the first box, former Lagos State Governor Bola Tinubu takes the lead with 208 votes, while Vice President Yemiyo Shimbaje comes second with 21 votes. The ballot cast an exercise to determine the fate of aspirants, which was carried out by 2,340 delegates, started at about 2.40 a.m. and ended at 7.45 a.m. The six-hour voting process ended with a few delegates still hanging around in the near empty field at the Eagle Square. The winner is expected to be declared in a few hours. Well, to talk more these political affairs analyst Adiwali Ajadi joins me now. Thank you very much for joining us. Now, the certain of vote is still ongoing, but from the numbers so far, Bolatinibu seems to be taking the lead. What do you make of this? It's, a, it's um, well, good morning first. It's an extremely challenging perspective because the similarity between the APC and the PDP is extremely pronounced now. What would have been ideal for the country is to have some kind of difference between the candidates of the PDP and the APC so that the two main, main political parties would have um, options for us. But right now, it looks particularly similar, Muslim, Muslim um, on both sides. Um, well, not South, but I mean, I'm not, I don't think that's quite as significant as the fact that they are both mainly politicians, um, dying the wool politicians that we've known from the beginning, that we all have all kinds of views about. And none of them are actually particularly insp inspirational figures for the future of Nigeria. So we'll see, we'll see how it plays out. But they're, they're, they're good enough people at this, but we'll see how it plays out. Well, fingers crossed, but um, assuming um, the, uh, the, the, the former governor of Lagos State keeps this space and emerges as a flag bearer of the APC, uh, do you think um, the APC has um, better chances of snatching up uh, the presidential seat at uh, the 2023 polls? Um, I'm not sure I can say that. Um, it would have been different if you had two different candidates. Um, in terms of their um, political um, backbone, so to speak. But these are two veteran politicians with um, different kinds of qualities, but essentially their greatest strength is that they're great political deal maker. Um, their capacity as executives, their ability to maintain policy perspectives, their effectiveness on having impact on people, their own levels of transparency. These are all issues that will make them vulnerable to each other, but I think they cancel each other out for the most part. Well, political affairs analyst Sadiwali Ajadi, thank you very much for your contribution. Thank you very much for having